Let me show you how to test the motor with a test cord without having to remove the motor from the dryer. Disconnect the dryer from the wall outlet and keep it disconnected. You need to make a test cord like this one. You need a heavy duty extension cord and some quick disconnect terminals. The quick disconnect terminals part number is 643133 and you can get them at Radio Shack. Cut this end of the extension cord. Cut a piece about 14 inches long and strip it into two wires. Strip the insulation from the two ends and the middle on both wires. Strip the two ends of the extension cord and solder the two wires to it and use electrical tape to insulate them. Crimp one female terminal and one male terminal to each one of the legs like this. This is the way that the test cord should look like. According to the wiring schematic, we should be able to intercept the motor wiring at one of the thermal fuses and at the door switch. The wire we need to remove from the thermal fuse has a 51 number on it. Remove the front panel. Remove the door switch. And remove the yellow wire from the door switch. Connect one of the male terminals from your test probe to the yellow wire from the switch. Remove the wire with the number 51 on it from the thermal fuse. Use electrical tape to insulate the wire like this. Connect the other male terminal to the wire with the number 51 on it like this. This is the way that the installation should look. One leg is connected to the yellow wire on the door switch and the other leg is connected to the wire with the number 51 from the thermal fuse. This is the way that the installation should look like. One leg is connected to the yellow wire from the door switch and the other leg is connected to the wire with the number 51 from the thermal fuse. Connect the test cord to the wall outlet. We need to use the push to start switch so the switch has to be working ok. If when you push the start switch the dryer starts running, then you know that the motor is ok. If the dryer won't start or make a homing sound when you press the push to start switch and you know that the push to start switch is good, then you have a bad motor and you need to replace it. Connect the wires back to the thermal fuse and to the door switch and install the front panel. With the front panel and drum already removed, let me show you how to replace the motor. Remove the blower wheel cover screws and remove the blower cover. Let the cover hang by the thermostat wires like this. With a needle nose pliers, remove the compression clamp. Remove the snap ring with a snap ring pliers. Grab the blower and pull it right out. Remove the other snap ring from the motor shaft. Remove the four screws holding the blower housing and take the blower housing right out. Let me show you how to remove the two motor clamps. Place a flat screwdriver on the clamp ear like this. Push down, pry it and take it right out. To install the clamp set it in place. Place the screwdriver on the clamp ear like this and hit it down until it snaps in place. Disconnect the ground wire from the motor bracket. Disconnect the motor wire harness by squeezing these two tabs on the connecting block and then pulling straight out. Remove the rear motor clamp like this. Then remove the front one. 
Grab the bad motor and take it right out. Set the new motor in place. And install the two holding clamps. Connect the motor wire harness to the motor. Make sure you push it all the way in. And connect the ground wire to the motor bracket. Set the blower housing in place. And screw in the holding screws. Install the first snap ring on the motor shaft. Install the blower wheel. Install the second snap ring on the motor shaft, then install the compression clamp on the blower. Install the blower cover and screw in the holding screws. Now all you have to do is install the drum, the front panel and the top panel and you're done replacing the motor. For the best place to buy replacement parts online, Visit Repair Clinic. When you buy parts from Repair Clinic, you have 365 days from the day of purchase to return the part for a refund or for a replacement. You can find links to Repair Clinic in my website.